This is a script called My Script on the Little Monsters Part 3. The kids run away from home and school. Narrator. The kids are all at school but someone has been stealing stuff and they're getting the blame for it. Mrs Applejack. I understand that you kids have been stealing from the, di the other kids. Kicker. No we haven't miss. Why would we? Creeper. Yeah, miss, why would we? Stumpy, we haven't been stealing from anyone, miss. Stumpy, no, we, ha we haven't, miss. Grumpy, why would we do a thing like that, miss? Bumpy, yeah, miss, why would we? Mrs Applejack, look, a lot of the other kids have told me that you've been stealing from them and they've seen you. I want you kids to come with me to Mrs Tinker's office. Narrator. The kids went with Mrs Applejack but on their way to Mrs Tinker's office the school bell went and all of the other kids piled out of the, their classroom. This gave them the perfect opportunity to run off and they did just that. They left the school premises and went home. When they got to Kicker's so she could pick up her skateboard, all their parents were there waiting for them. Kicker's mum, I understand that you kids have been stealing. Kicker, no we haven't mum. Honest we haven't. Kicker's mum, that's not what your teacher says. Kicker, I'm not lying mum, we haven't been stealing. Creeper's mum. What have you got to say for yourself, young lady? Creeper, we haven't been stealing, Mum. Creeper's Mum. Well then, why has why your teacher said that you have? Bumpy, we're not lying, we haven't been stealing. Kicker's Mum, you're all lying and you're all grounded for a month. Kicker, go to your room at once. The rest of you, go home with your parents. Narrator. Kicker went to her room, but not long after, because, of, but not, but not for long, because as soon as she got there, she packed her bag, got her sleeping bag, climbed out of her bedroom window, got on her bike, and rode to the old skate park and waited for the others. As soon as they arrived, they all rode their bikes as fast as they could. After they'd been riding for about an hour, they stopped to rest. Kicker, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going back to be able to be blamed for something I haven't done. Creeper, none of us are, Kicker, but where do we go from here? <coughs> Kicker, well, we can't stay here, they too close to home. We're bound to be found. We need to go further. Narrator. The kids rode their bikes for about another two hours until they spotted an empty house. Grumpy. Hey guys, look, there's an empty house and look, there's some shops at the top of the hill. Stampy. Come on guys, let's go inside. I'm tired, I don't know about you guys. Narrator. They all went over to the house but it was locked. So they searched for the key and Creeper found one. They let themselves in and when they went inside, they couldn't believe how big and beautiful the place was. They were so tired that they all went straight to, straight to bed. The next morning when they got up, they went to the shop to the top of the hill and did some shopping. While they, whilst they were there, they went into a cafe for some breakfast. Then Kicker saw someone who she knew. Kicker, hey guys, I know that woman over there and she knows my family. Quick, let's go back to the house. Creeper, I can't go through that again. I think that we have enough food to look to last us a couple of weeks. I think we should stay here where it's safe. Bumpy, I agree, it's not safe for us to leave here. Oh, come on guys. We have to leave here at some point. We can't stay inside all the time. Stumpy. Hey guys, look over there. 
there's a swing on that field at the back and there's no houses or any other buildings nearby. Grumpy. Yeah, but look, Stumpy, there's some other kids playing on it. Stumpy. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, but they won't be on it tonight when it's dark. When we we can play on it then. Now uh, that night when it was dark, the kids went and played on the swing for a bit. Then they went back to the house. Let's watch some TV for a bit before we go to bed. I'll put it on. Oh no, guys, look, our pictures are on TV. Bumpy. Oh no, now what do we do? Stumpy. We stay here and hope that no one knows where we are. Narrator. The next day the kids had run out of bread and milk, so they decided to go for a walk to the shops at the top of the hill. When they got there, someone recognised them from the TV and told a police officer. The kids ran as fast as they could back to the house, got their stuff together, got on their bikes and rode as fast as they could for about two hours, and then they spotted another empty house. Bumpy. Hey guys, there's another empty house there. Let's all go in. Creeper. Yeah, come on guys, let's go in. I can't go any further. Narrator. After the kids had been there for about two days, they saw their pictures on the TV again. This time their parents explained that it had all been a misunderstanding. Kicker. I don't know about you guys, but I miss my family and I want to go home. Creeper. Me too. Bumpy, me too. Grumpy, me too. Stumpy, me too. Stampy, me too. Narrator, they all rang their parents and told them where they were and they came to pick them up. As soon as the kids saw them, they ran into their arms crying. They apologised to their parents and they apologised to them and then they all went home. When they went back to school, Mrs Applejack apologised to them too. The end. Thanks for watching, guys. Love yous. Bye.